starting with the agenda portion of the meeting. Uh, we have no public hearings. Uh, we got ordinances on second reading. An ordinance to provide, uh, number one, an ordinance to provide and supplement the funding of various park improvements. By and in the city of New Brunswick and the county of Middlesex, state of New Jersey, appropriated $371,000, therefore, and authorizing the issuance of not to exceed $353,000 bonds and notes to the finance park and cost thereof. Mr. Council so, President, yes, sir. Can we continue if I could uh, be heard? Uh, all of your ordinances on second reading uh, have to be carried to your next meeting, the April 4th meeting, because of the notice for publication um, advertising. Thank because you. we had the snow emergency and the meeting was canceled. So uh, when we get to these ordinances on second reading, I'm going to ask the council to make a motion to carry on the day before if that's necessary. Thank you. We have two, an ordinance to amend and supplement the revised general ordinance of the city of New Brunswick, Title 10, vehicles and traffic, stopping, standing, or parking, section 10-16210, scheduled 38 time limit parking areas, reference to Lewis Street. Three, an ordinance to amend and supplement the revised general ordinance of the city of New Brunswick, Title 10, vehicles and traffic, stopping, standing, or parking, section 2, section 10-16210, scheduled 38 time limit parking areas, reference to Central Avenue. We have four, table at the requested administration. Five, uh, in order to amend and supplement the revised general ordinance of the city of New Brunswick, Title V, Business Licenses Regulations, Chapter 5-580, Rent Control, add new section 5-80-095, require landlords to provide for written receipts and, uh, for rents and other payments paid in cash or by money order. Six, in order to amend and supplement the revised general ordinance, the city of New Brunswick, Title 10. Vehicles in traffic, chapter 10 16, stopping and standing or parking section. 10 16, schedule 24, no parking at any time, reference to Lewis Street. 7, an ordinance to amend and supplement the revised general ordinance of the city of New Brunswick, uh, title 10, vehicles in traffic, chapter 10 16, uh, stopping and standing parking section. 10 16050, schedule 29, time limit parking in section 10 16020, schedule 24, no parking at any time, reference to College Avenue. And we have one ordinance that's on first reading. Uh, an ordinance to one, an ordinance to amend to exceed the municipal budget appropriation limits and establish a cash bank. Then we have resolutions one, approve agenda limits two, approve payroll. Three, authorize refunds to redeem tax sale certificates. Four, approve resolution authorizing acceptance of execution of arts grant agreement with County of Middlesex Office of Culture and Heritage for art at City Hall amount to be received one thousand nine hundred dollars. Five, approve request for use of city sidewalk. Requested uh, the chief of UNICEF location sidewalk from College uh, from, from George Street Plaza to Douglas Street Student Center to College Avenue Student Center for a water walk to educate all about the 663 million people worldwide who lack access to clean water. Date uh, Saturday, March 24, 2018. Time 11 a.m. to 5 p.m. Down for tunk. Six pulled at the request of the administration. Seven uh, approved request for use of city property requested by New Brunswick Recreation. Location Bugalo Park Pavilion uh, Playground Area for Easter Egg Hunt with the Easter Bunny. Rain date, uh, excuse me, date Saturday, March 31st, 2018. Rain date, Saturday, April 7, 2018, 10, 10 a.m. to 1 p.m. 8. Request for street closing, requested by Harvest Moon Cafe, a uh, brewery co sponsored with New Brunswick City Market. Uh, location George Street between Albany Street and Church Street for Spring Street Cast Fest, celebrating craft beers and promoting the Downtown City Center, Saturday, April 14, 2018. Uh, time, 10.30 a.m. to 5.30 p.m., police extra duty. <coughs> Nine, approved request for use of city property. Requested by Alpha Gamma Delta, location Google Park Field 2 for charity soccer games using an inflatable ball. Uh, date, Saturday, April 21, 2018, 11 a.m. to 5 p.m. Rain date, Friday, April 20th, 2018, rain date, 2 p.m. to 6 p.m. 10, approved request for city property, requested by Alpha Gamma Delta, location Bugalo Field, Field Day 2, uh, Field 2, for its celebration and Founders Day and International Reunion Day. For its Sunday, April 22nd, 2018, 10 a.m. to 3 p.m. 11, approved appointment of counsel for Lawrence Bitterman for representation of police officer Philip Mandel in the matter of Michael Young versus the city of New Brunswick et al. But not to exceed $10,000. 12, Approved request for city property requested by Delta Gamma. Location, Bugalo Park Field 2. For hosting the an annual anger games. 
to raise money for service for site. Uh, date Sunday, April 29, 2018. Time 1.30 a.m. to 6.30 p.m. 13, request for use of city property requested by Elijah's Promise. Location, Joyce Kemmer Park from monthly Mercado Esperanza Market. Dates, Sundays, April, <coughs> April 22nd, 2018, all the way through October 14, 2018. April dates <coughs> correspond to Ciclope, Ciclope Villa, and Corazon Latino Festival. Time, 10.30 a.m. to 7 p.m. Uh, 14, approved request for street closing use of city property requested by a Better Choice Empowerment Center, a center for nonprofit corporation, ABCEC, for a charity motorcycle ride to raise funds to help families in New Brunswick and nearby towns, location of uh, Recreation Park, street closing departure from Recreation Park to end at Hamlin Club on Edifice Road, Saturday, June 2nd, 2018, park was 1030 a.m. and 1.30 p.m., street close 1.30 p.m. to 3 p.m. 15, approved request for use of city property requested by Civic League of Greater New Brunswick. Location Recreation Park for the annual Health, Fair, and Fitness Challenge. Saturday, June 9, 2018. Time 9 a.m. to 2 p.m. 16, approved request for city property requested by Puja Cartawala. Location, Yugolo Park for the picnic celebration for family and friends of the day after her wedding. Date, Saturday, June 23, 2018. 11 a.m. to 4 p.m. 17, uh, City of New Brunswick 2018 New Brunswick Municipal Budget Introduction Tuesday March 27 uh, 2018 Public Hearing May 2nd 2018 18 Approved request for city property requested by Crush Volleyball Location Bugle Park Outfield Behind the Fields Grass Volleyball Field Date Saturdays April 28th through June 3rd 2018 Rain Date Saturday August 18 2018 Time, 7 a.m. to 8 p.m. 19, approved transfer of appropriation reserves for the 2017 municipal budget. 20, approved emergency temporary appropriation for 2018. 21, approved to accept uh, offer to purchase city property for permanent easements. Block 242, lot 10-03 for New Jersey Transit with county and yard improvements projected located at 400 Jersey Avenue, amount of $727,000. 22, approved request for use of city sidewalk across it by Pesheta, New Brunswick, location uh, sidewalk beginning at 57 Livingston Avenue, George Street to French Street, ending at War Monument Park on, on French Street. March of support, New Jersey legislators passage of the driver's license for all bill. Saturday, March 24, 2018, time 2 p.m. to 5 p.m., non pro -tunk. Uh, 23, approve award of contract with Raritan Supply Company for furnish and water repair clamps and accessories for the water utility. Term 12 month period, commencing March 28, 2018, specification number 664-18W, not to exceed $80,000. 24, authorized submission of recycling enhancements grant. Middlesex County Division of Solid Waste, reusable tote bags to residents of multifamily dwellings, amount of $8,000. 25, award of contract. ETW Holdings, a uh, three corporation doing business as Equi 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 Water Technologies, maintenance and support for the Memcore membrane filtration system for the uh, water utility. Term 12 month period commencing March 28, 2018 and ending March 27, 2019. Rebid specification number 660 18 RFP, not to exceed $29,200. 26, approve amendment of resolution R 121 745, reason to pay the outstanding invoices. An amount of $19,000 with Allied Oil Company Incorporated for furnish and deliver diesel fuel for the Department of Public Works. 12 month period commencing April 6, 2017 and ending April 5, 2018. Specification number 58617P, not to exceed $19,000. Approval of this change will constitute an increase in the 20% or more of the original contract. 27, approval award of contracts for furnish and delivery trees. Uh, for spring tree planting program for Parks Department with Barbado, Barbado Nursery Corporation. Items BFG, HK, NOPTW. Uh, not to exceed $16,000 with Chickster's Nursery. Items CE, I, R, S, U, and V. Uh, not to exceed $6,560. Ocean Wholesale Nursery. Items A, D, and J. And not to exceed $1,913. Specification number 666-18P. 28, approve amendment of resolution to pay the final invoices in the amount of $220.50 for the mayor's office for G Capital Information Tech Solutions doing business at Rico, U.S. 
USA Incorporated, not to exceed $220.50. <coughs> Approval of this amendment will not constitute an increase of 20% or more of the minimum amount of contract. 21, 29. Approved relaxation of the city noise orders and road closures requested by Sky High Erectors Equipment Incorporated. Reason to place a crane on Somerset Street to lift the equipment to the roof of one Robert Wood Johnson place. Saturday, April 7, 2018, alternate dates. Saturdays, April 14 and the 21st, 2018, 7 a.m. to 4 p.m. 30. Approval amendment of resolution R-121-731 with traffic traffic lines incorporated with traffic line striping. Specification number 913-17. Amount of four thousand. $505.49. Approval of this change will not constitute an increase of 20% or more of the original contract. Author, uh, 31. Authorize the lease of copy machine for municipal court for RICO Incorporated for one RICO model M-P055PG copy system, not to exceed $160.73 per month, commencing May 1st, 2018, and ending April, April 30th, 2022, 48-month contract. Uh, state contract 40467-G2075 uh, copiers, maintenance and supplies. 32, approved resolution uh, authorizing certification and compliance with United States Equal Employment Opportunity Commission for enforcement of guidance on consideration of arrest and conviction of employment uh, decisions under Title Seven of the Civil Rights Act. 33, um, Requested by Sky High Erectors Equipment Incorporated, reason to place a crane to lift the equipment at the roof at 1 Johnson & Johnson Plaza, dates April 7, 2018, alternates, alternate dates, Saturday, April 14, 2018, and April 21, 2018, 7 a.m. 4 p.m. We have 34, approve amendment of resolution R-02-187-1876, reason to add new dates, approve relaxation of the city noise ordinance, requested by Souter, Crane rental, reason to place a crane on New Street to lift the equipment to the Blasting Building, uh, uh, 33 Livingston Avenue, Sunday, March 25th, 2018, alternate dates, April 8th, 2018, April 15th, 2018, time 2 a.m. to 8 p.m., non pro -tum. We have items for discussion by council, so on and so forth. Okay. 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 Speeding, and now come to order, will the clerk please Council Vice President Anderson. Here. Council Member Egan is absent. Council Member Escobar. Here. Council Member Sakura Ludwig. Here. Council President Fleming. Here. Please be advised that the or at the notice of requirements of the open, open Public Meeting Act have been complied with and satisfied with the annual notice that gave sufficient notice of the time and place and conduct conduct of all public meetings of the Municipal Council of the City of New Brunswick has been filled with by the city clerk, has been placed on the appropriate bulletin board in the lobby of City Hall. New Brunswick, New Jersey has been transmitted to the official newspaper of the city of New Brunswick named in the home news. So please rise for the pleasure of meeting. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Well, please stand for a moment's silence for those who have lost their lives in senseless violence around in this country and around the world, and those that are defending their life, uh, giving their life in the defense of freedom, and those that continue to defend freedom around the world. Thank you. All right, we'll have to go in minutes. So we'll go to any correspondence by the clerk. <clears throat> a letter from PSEG providing notification that an existing classification exception area, well restriction area for groundwater is intended to be revised, updated for the remediation of contaminated sites. A letter from Amic Foster Wheeler on behalf of Robert Wood Johnson University Hospital with the analytical results from the sub-slab soil gas and indoor air sampling performed at 100 Kirkpatrick Street on January 23rd, 2018. A letter from DM Beckus Construction Services, Inc. requesting a final inspection and escrow for the minor site work done at 278 Comstock Street. An invoice from Suburban Consulting Engineers, Inc. regarding professional services 
for the period of February 3rd, 2018 to March 2nd, 2018. The correspondence will be forwarded to the appropriate departments for further action. Thank you. You're welcome. All right, now we have ordinances on second reading. Read it and then entertain motion. Yes, we entertain a motion to retaliate. Okay. All right, we have number, uh, ordinance number one. Bond owners provided the funding of various improvements uh, in the city of New Brunswick, County of Middlesex, state of New Jersey, appropriating $371,000. Therefore, authorizing the issuances not to exceed 353,000 bonds or notes to finance the court or the cost thereof. We have a motion to carry it to April 4th. Move the ordinance on yeah. April 4th. 6 6 30 p.m. Same date to be advertised. Second. Council Vice President Anderson? Yes. Council Member Escobar? Yes. Council Member Socorro Ludwig? Yes. Council President Fleming? Yes. Then we have number two, in order to amend and supplement the revised general ordinances of the City of New Brunswick, Title 10, Vehicles and Traffic, Stopping and Standing and Parking, Section 10-16210, Scheduled 38, Time Limit Parking Areas, reference to Lewis Street. Again, with the ordinance setting down April 4th at 6.30 p.m., same day for the advertising. Second. Council Vice President Anderson? Yes. Council Member Escobar? Yes. Council Member Socorro Ludwig? Yes. Council President Fleming? Yes. We have three in order to have been in supplement to the general ordinances of the City of New Brunswick, Title 10, Vehicles and Traffic, Stopping, Standing, or Parking, Section 10 16 210, Schedule 38, Time Limit Parking Areas, Reference to Central Avenue. With the ordinance setting down April 4th at 6 30 p.m., same day as the advertisement. Second. Council Vice President Anderson? Yes. Council Member Escobar? Yes. Council Member Socorro Ludwig? Yes. Council President Fleming? Yes. We have four. Uh, That's it. Can we take it? Right? Motion to table. Motion to table. Second. Council Vice President Anderson? Yes. Council Member Escobar? Yes. Council Member Socorro Ludwig? Yes. Council President Fleming? Yes. We have five, the ordinance to amend and supplement the revised general ordinance of the city of New Brunswick, Title V business license regulations, chapter five dash zero, rent control. Uh, add new section five dash 8095, require landlords to provide for written receipts for rents, other payments paid in cash or by money order. With the ordinance setting down April 4th, 6.30, 6.30 p.m., same day to be advertised. Second. Council Vice President Anderson? Yes. Council Member Escobar? Yes. Council Member Socorro Ludwig? Yes. Council President Fleming? Yes. Okay, uh, six. In order to amend and supplement the revised general ordinance of the City of New Brunswick, Title 10, uh, Vehicles and Traffic, uh, Chapter 10-16, Stopping and Standing, or Parking Section 10-16020, Schedule 24, No Parking at Any Time, reference to Lewis Street. Move the ordinance setting down April 4th at 6.30 p.m., same day to be advertised. Second. Council Vice President Anderson? Yes. Council Member Escobar? Yes. Council Member Socorro Ludwig? Yes. Council President <coughs> Yes. And we have seven. In order to amend and supplement the revised general ordinance of the City of, uh, City of New Brunswick, Title 10, Vehicles and Traffic, Chapter 10 16, Stopping and Standing, Parking Section 10 16050, Schedule 29, Time Limit Parking, and Section 10 16020. Schedule 24, no parking at any time. Reference to College Avenue. With the ordinance setting down April 4th, 6.30 p.m., same day to be out of time. Second. Council Vice President Anderson? Yes. Council Member Escobar? Yes. Council Member Socorro Ludwig? Yes. Council President Fleming? Yes. And we have ordinances on first reading. In order to exceed the municipal budget, appropriation limits, and establish a cap bank. With the ordinance setting down April 4th at 6.30 p.m., same day to be out of time. Second. Council Vice President Anderson? Yes. Council Member Escobar? Yes. Council Member Socorro Ludwig? Yes. Council President Fleming? Yes. Okay. <coughs> now we have resolutions 1 through 34. And anyone from the public would like to speak on the ordinances, specifically the ordinances? Resolutions. The resolutions. Number 6 of 44 is being told. Yes, yeah, six and forty-four is being pulled. Six is being uh, pulled because the uh, applicant never provided insurance uh, before the weekend event. Of course, we're going to approve it non-proton. Um, so, 
since they did not provide insurance return phone calls or emails, we are uh, pulling it from the agenda. Thank you. And if you have a if you have a desire for me to speak about the budget that we're introducing tonight, I will do that. It's a 94.5 million dollar spending plan. Um, it uh, assumes that the uh, combined tax rate between uh, local government purposes and the minimum uh, library tax will go up 4.87 cents. We believe that it will affect the average uh, homeowner by $115. Um, uh, I think we saw a statement from the mayor um, describing the many things that he would like to see uh, accomplished in this budget. An awful lot of parks improvements and um, uh, street repavings and uh, water main uh, replacements, some work on the public library, some work on this building. We'll uh, open uh, Buckle Mansion, it'll be uh, um, fully restored uh, in early May of this year. Um, the budget, as I said, uh, um, to you privately assumes uh, 12 new police officers this year, five new firefighters. Um, all of our traditional programs and services will be fully funded. Thank you. Sure. Okay, anybody else from the public on the resolutions? So before we give you a name and address for the record, please. Uh, it's Ron Walker, <coughs> 1337 Pearl Court in Brunswick, New Jersey. Um, my question is to resolution 031849, uh, approval of an appointment of counsel. Name is Lawrence Bitterman for the representation of police officer Phil Swindle in the matter of Michael Young versus the city of New Brunswick. Uh, my question is, what is the nature of the allegation? Well, it's pending litigation. The city was sued in connection with an assault, apparently, that occurred somewhere outside of the Old Bay restaurant several years ago, or a few years ago, I should say. Um, officer Swindell was one of the officers involved. Um, Plaintiff uh, alleges uh, various uh, violations of law as to uh, his arrest and charging of, of a crime. Um, Old Bay is being sued as well in the matter. Um, having said that, I think uh, I've given the gentleman what's publicly out there in the, in the complaint. The complaint is then here in Middlesex County Superior Court. Okay. Um, Resolution uh, 031855, the City of New Brunswick 2018 Municipal Budget. Uh, do you know if there's any room for body cameras? The, uh, the budget does not contemplate body cameras. The police department did not make uh, that request in this budget year. Okay. Um, would you say that the police department, they would like body cameras to be part of the force? Mm -hmm. Um, I would have to refer your question to um, Captain Miller if he wants to um, take that on. Okay. Um, do you think that it will be? Do you think that you would like to have body cameras within the police department in New Brunswick? We would like to have them, but we're not prepared to take them on at this time. Okay. Um, and the last question is: Do you think it's more feasible to have 12 more officers rather than more body cameras to prevent more assaults and more lawsuits happening within the city of New Brunswick? You like say that one more time. Um, do you think it would be better to have more body cameras rather than 12 new police officers that can help you have that chair? Yes. All right, there we go. Sorry, I apologize. Um, do you think it would be better to have the body cameras rather than hiring 12 new police officers in the municipal budget? I think that's speculation, but Captain Miller, if you want to, you think it's more feasible to have? That's purely speculation and an open ended question like that. Okay. That's fair. All right. Thank you. Thank you. Anybody else on the resolution? Seeing none. The resolution. Second. Council Vice President Anderson. Yes. Council Member Escobar. Yes. Council Member Sakura Ludwig. Yes. Council President Fleming. Yes. All right. Uh, now we go to we'll go to the items for discussion by council. Then we'll go to public. Uh, yeah. Public hearing. Um, I just wanted to point out a few things. Uh, student representatives from Paul, Paul Robeson Community School and New Brunswick High School participated in National History Day contest at Seton Hall University 
on March 17, 2018. For purpose, uh, the competition was conflict and compromise. Our middle school students prepared exhibits such as the atomic bomb, Afghanistan, child labor law, North Vietnam versus South Vietnam, and our New Brunswick High School students collaborated in the development of a documentary entitled From Minority to Majority, uh, Fight, uh, Flight, and Black Flight, New Brunswick, New Jersey. We're extremely proud of our students for participating, We're extremely proud to uh, present our high school students have now won the regional competition will advance to the state competition in May. Uh, we have several new brother students mentioned here, but we'll just give them a hand. Let's just give them a hand. Um, also, uh, yesterday was the passing of Linda Brown, who was, uh, she was the plaintiff in Brown versus Board of Education, which is desegregated uh, schools throughout the nation. And I just wanted to um, just commemorate that day because uh, that, that was something that really changed the nation. Besides, because without Brown versus Board of Education, if I would have been so rightful with the way we knew it, and then it set off a tone, you know, with Rose Parks and everything else. So uh, that was a name that passed through. You know, people didn't realize she died yesterday at the age of 76, and that was a monumental event. So I just wanted to commemorate that also. Anybody else? You're wishing everybody a happy uh, Passover and Easter that's coming up. I want to publicly thank uh, Dan in the clerk's office. He's understanding he's retiring, so we wish him all the best. I just did. <laughs> 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 See what people would say. <laughs> all right, everybody else? All right, we have. Okay, I'm sorry. To go back to the University Public Library, and also in order for the diversity of the programs. Good. Now we have anybody from the public. Please step forward, take your name and address. Hi, my name is Julia. I live 207,000 in New Brunswick. Varias personas en nuestra comunidad trabajan muy um, many people in our community are working very hard and they have to pay a, a lot of money for their rent. Uh, we need uh, some sort of record of the payments that we're making for rent. If there were a requirement for rent receipts, that would achieve the following. In the first place, it would prevent that a landlord claims that the rent had not been received when in fact it had been paid. In the second place, it would prevent that a, that a house is sold without the landlord informing the tenant that the house had been sold and the old landlord continuing to collect the rent. Que la renta no suba más de un 25% los, los recibos establece la cantidad que se pagará y está fija el, el aumento próximo legal. Also, the uh, rent receipts would help ensure that landlords are not raising the rent more than 2.5% in rent controlled properties, uh, which is the maximum allowable increase. Pedimos, por lo tanto, que la Ciudad de New Brunswick apruebe una nueva política para que los dueños den recibo por la renta. Muchas gracias. Therefore, we ask the city of New Brunswick for a new requirement that landlords give rent receipts. Thank you so much. Thank you. Okay, and we have a, a petition of, with some. What? Ciento, 175, I think it is, signatures to present for your consideration. Thank you. You know that, uh, excuse me, you know that's the one that we have on second reading. 
For next week? Yes. For next week? Yes. Okay, okay great. Yeah, you. it would have been tonight, but you know, we have to pleasure event. Okay, perfect. Appreciate that. Yeah. yeah. All right. Anybody else from the public? State my name again. Yes. Right. Uh, Devon Walker, 1337 Fernwood Court, the Brunswick, New Jersey. Um, why did it take several hours for residents to be notified of the water problem in Rutgers Village on Friday? Yeah. Yeah. Um, well, there was an accident that occurred. We're in the process of replacing um, several hundred feet of uh, water main out in the uh, Rutgers Village area. Uh, during the uh, process of the construction, there was a construction accident that occurred. Actually, the valve came dislodged. Uh, we were immediately dispatched to the area where we isolated the uh, water main break. Uh, we were out flushing the uh, system until, I think it was approximately 10 o'clock that night. Uh, we did make as much notification door to door, knocking on doors as, as people were going, um, as we were going by and dealing with the issues. And then, of course, we answered any calls and response to uh, anybody that had any laundry or anything damaged with that. So I don't know if there was a delay in, in getting out the uh, the information, but um, you know, we were we were on site. We were on site actually when when the accident occurred. So, but I think the most important thing to realize is that the water was caused by um, older pipes that. That's where the um, brown water was coming from, from rusty pipes, and the city is making an effort to replace that pipe with new pipe that has a cement lining on the inside. Gotcha. Okay. Um, is there anything in the new budget that's for, uh, that will help replace new pipes for the upcoming year? Yes. Yes. There's uh, the water utility has asked for six million dollars worth of capital improvement funding, and I think they intend to replace water mains and six or seven different neighborhoods. Okay. Um, Council President Fleming, uh, do you have a response to being found guilty of ethics violation regarding your uh, failure to disclosure your income sources? Um, first of all, that was a that was a misnomer because there was no finding. There was a there was a where they said there, they, there was an admonishment and it wasn't even that, there was an encouragement. Now whatever print the paper printed which he copied from New Brunswick today because he wasn't there. So that was complete, that's a, that's a complete fabrication. So regarding an article that I read on my Central Jersey, that could have been? That was, yeah, that was written by somebody who wasn't here who forwarded it from another newspaper. Okay. Yeah. So you did not fail to disclose income sources on past financial disclosure reports? No, it was a, it was a miscommunication on the paperwork. Okay. In which we explained it at the meeting. Oh, right. Thank you. Anybody else from the public? Seeing none? Motion to adjourn. Second. Council Vice President Anderson? Yes. Council Member Escobar? Yes. Council Member Sakura Ludwig? Yes. Council President Fleming? Yes.